Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. In this video we'll be repairing three pedestal fans. I found these fans dumped at my shopping centre car park. They all have broken bases, so I'm guessing their electric motors will still spin just fine. Start by removing the fan head from the base. This is usually held on by a single thumb screw. Now use a screwdriver to remove the damaged feet from the pole. These feet are usually made from thin pressed steel and are easily damaged if you accidentally step on them. Each foot has a half depth notch cut in it to allow them to fit together as a pair. If we repair these metal feet, they'll just break again, so let's make some replacements from wood. We'll make the replacement feet from two pieces of wood like this. We'll cut a notch out of each side so that they fit together just like the original metal feet. The original feet are 450mm, 18 inches, long. These pieces of wood are much too short, so we'll have to use something else. I don't have any planks that are the right width to make the feet, so I'll have to saw the feet out of this one. I'll start by marking a line down the middle of the board on both sides. Then I'll mark the length of each foot across the board. I'm making these feet a little shorter than the original metal ones. Now we can take the board to the ripsaw stool and saw it in half. We can only get two sets of legs from this board, so we don't have to cut its entire length. Now I'll set up to plane the rough board smooth. I'll start by raising the workbench planing stop, then I'll set up two doze feet with holdfasts to brace the work. These will hold the workpiece while I plane its four sides. That smoothed out the marks from the saw. As you can see, it's quick and easy to switch to the next side of the workpiece. We'll need to repeat these planing steps for the other five feet. I want each pair of feet to be the same height, so I'll put two feet together on the bench and plane them at the same time. Now we'll mark the location for the notches in the feet. This foot's got a hole in it from a pallet nail, so we'll hide that on the bottom edge. Measure and mark a line across the middle of the two feet. Then measure the thickness of the footboards and mark the side lines for the notch on both boards. You want to have this notch centred on your first line. Now set your square to half the height of the feet and measure and mark the remaining lines for the notches. Saw along those lines with your tenon saw.
Then remove the waste with a chisel. I somehow missed the line while sawing here, so I'll have to fix that using the chisel as well. Don't try to remove all the waste at once, or it might break out deeper than your marked lines. You should also work from both sides to avoid breaking out the bottom of the notch. Flatten the bottom of the notch with your chisel using handheld paring cuts. This notch is too tight, so I'll use the chisel to make it wider. This took several minutes in real time, so I'll just jump to the end. The second board now fits tightly in the notch. I cut out and trimmed the second notch in the same way, then tap the base together with a mallet. You can leave the bases square if you prefer, but I plain tapered ends on this one. This took about 7 minutes in real time, but I think it looks quite elegant. Now I'll flatten out the bent flanges on the pole. We'll use four wood screws to attach the pole to the base. Mark the hole locations with a pencil. Drill the holes. Then attach the pole to the base using four screws. These fans are all very dirty, so let's clean them before we reassemble. Start by releasing the clips and removing the front guard. The propeller is held on by a nut that unscrews in a clockwise direction. The propeller should now pull off the motor shaft. The nut holding the rear guard unscrews anti-clockwise. We'll clean the plastic parts using water and dishwashing liquid. Do not put the electric motor unit under water. Just wipe it down with a damp cloth. Then wipe it dry with a towel when you finish cleaning it. The other parts can be washed and dried like dishes. Once you have everything back together, give it a test. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.